Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jordan, and this is a cup of Jordy. You see my, do you like the fireplace? I'm trying to set the mood for us, you know, to sit and just chill and kind of share um, gift ideas. So that's essentially what today's video is about. Um, but before we get into that, really quick, like I just said, this is a cup of Jordy, where I post fashion videos, thrifting, um, hauls, home decor, uh, vlogs, everything like that. So if you're interested in any of that, um, feel free to check me out more of my videos down below and also subscribe while you're there. Um, and yeah, so like I was saying before, today's a gift guide. We are going to go through a bunch of different gift ideas. So I originally I was going to do this one for like hers um, gift guide, but at the same time I'm looking at it and I'm like a lot of these, these things are like very neutral. They can go for anyone. Um, so some of them are mixed for her women's things. Some of them are just mixed for everyone. Um, and then I am going to be doing a his gift guide though, because I do think I have really good ideas for men. I always like pride myself on gifts that I give Jared and like the men in my life. So stay tuned for that. But um, we're just gonna start off really quickly. Like I said, I set the mood. We are in my office, we're ready to go. I'm wearing my red, I don't know what this is called, pussy bow tie, I don't know, um, with my red lipstick, which hopefully I'm not gonna regret the red decision, like the red lipstick decision, because I watched a video of mine in the past, like one of my thrifting videos for Taylor Swift, and the lipstick application, I don't know. But anyway, okay, so. I have a whole list here of everything that I thought of and hopefully you will be able to find a few things to gift your loved ones. Um, so we're going to start off with, this can be for someone who's a student or who is not, um, who just someone who is a coffee lover, the coffee lover, the coffee connoisseur. Um, so that's going to start with the coffee machine, whether it be, there are, are so many things that you can get for a coffee lover as far as coffee machines go. There are oh, with just a like basic coffee maker. They have the Keurigs, right? Um, K-Cups you can get for the Keurigs. So the Keurigs, they have like little ones if they are a student and they're in the dorm or something. I think a Keurig is a really, really nice gift idea um, for that. And especially, like I said, they do make compact ones that's like for one person. Um, and then at the other end of the spectrum, you can go on Keurig and find like espresso mater makers or like, I don't know if it's espresso, but you can find like the ones that have like the big family Keurigs um, and then also like the the drip pot coffee in them so they have like a wide range as far as Keurigs go but then there also goes an espresso I think an espresso maker and machine is like a such a good idea for anyone who drinks coffee um, I think it's like a really easy gift to get it's a little pricey but I think anyone who gets that would love it um, because you know, it's, it's just like a step up from like regular coffee because it's espresso. Um, and I just think it's really nice because I think a lot of people want that, but they won't buy it for themselves. Like me, I would never buy myself that because I would love to get it as a gift. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then there also are a whole other end of the spectrum, which I actually have an ex One example is like you can get a French press, right? Um, and that I think is a great idea also for a student because it's very compact. It's really good coffee that it makes too, um, which I'm going to be putting pictures of everything as well. But yeah, a, cure, or, uh, a French press, which you can get anywhere at Target. You can get them at Starbucks. You can get you know expensive ones. You can get cheaper ones. They have them at Ikea for like $10. Um, I'm going to link a few different options like below as far as everything also, um, just so you know really quick, I'm linking everything down below. I'm going to have a few options for each thing that I talk about and I'm also going to have pictures here. So the next thing though is like a drip pour over coffee. And this is so cute. Is this not adorable? This is the one, this one is from Target. Yes, Target, I think it's the hearth and hand section, which is Chip and Joanna Gaines line. And it's like this um, rose gold thing. And then you just set like the um, coffee, what are those called? The filters in here. And then you put your coffee in and then you pour it over. And this is only $16.99, I believe. I just looked it up. Um, and you set your coffee here and it drips in there. So I think this is a really, really nice idea. And it's also very aesthetically pleasing. So um, love that. And then next for the coffee lovers. So coffee, this goes for anyone who drinks coffee. Um, I think it's such like a nice gift to get a, like a nice high quality blend of coffee, um, which you can find anywhere. You can find it at Kroger, you can find it at Target. You can also find at small coffee shops which I recommend because I always find the best coffee beans there we recently just got an espresso machine and I'm gonna show you our our favorite espresso um, blend coffee beans which I'm going to link this down below as proving grounds they have a location they've I think two locations in Michigan and their espresso blend is our favorite for our espresso machine but they have all different kinds of blends like I'm talking pages of <laughs> coffee blends and they are a very very nice gift i think for anyone um because who doesn't like 
really high quality tasting coffee. So here is an example. Um, so, we, or you just go to a local coffee shop. I'm sure their coffee's really good. Um, if you just go and have the baristas recommend you a blend. And I think that's such a nice idea and it's a way to support small local businesses. So, um, yeah. So I also found this black owned coffee company and their coffee bags look so beautiful. It's called Boon, it's called Boon Boona Coffee. Um, and the bags are, like I said, are so cute. And I think that would be a really nice option for coffee as well. A few more ideas for the coffee lover. So the next would be a coffee mug heater. So they make little pads that heat up. This is something that I really would love for a gift. Um, you put your coffee on this like pad that they have and it keeps your coffee warm all day. And this is perfect for someone who's working at home, working at a desk, doing anything like that. I think it's so nice and such a good idea because no more cold coffee. That's like such a blessing right there. I mean, a lot of people don't even know they exist. So if you get that, they're gonna be like, what is this? And then it's gonna be one of those things that are like, I'm so glad blank bought me that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, and then also on that same realm, they actually have like coffee mugs. These are a little bit more expensive. You can find like a nice um, pad for like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, a little bit less even. I saw some for 10, but like, the mugs that I'm going to be talking about actually go for like a hundred dollars. I've seen them at Target and Starbucks um, and also online, like I said, I'll link, but um, they are mugs that keep your coffee warm. So you can actually adjust the temperature of them. You can like get you can keep it hot for as long as you want and it's literally in the mug. It's like built around, you know, the mug, um, <laughs> if that makes sense. And I think that's such a great idea. Like I said, if you're willing to like splurge and get like a nice luxury coffee mug, mug, but also built in with a heater. I love that. And I think it's like such a nice idea. I think I might end up getting this for my mom because she loves coffee, obviously. She drinks coffee all day, but she always tells me how she has to like go re-microwave her coffee like five different times a day. So I think this would be such a good idea for like anyone who's like that. Um, and then also in that same realm, usable coffee mug or a tumbler. I think you can never have enough of these, honestly. I love giving them as gifts and I love getting them as gifts. Like I said, I can have a whole uh, cabinet full of like tumblers and reusable coffee mugs, but when I get a new one, I still get so excited and I use that one for so long. Um, so like I said, they're, they make a bunch of different ones. The ones that keep your coffee warm, cold. Um, they make ones with straws, ones without straws, sippy lids. They make cute designed ones. They find, I've seen some on Etsy if you want a custom one. Um, and I just think that's such a good idea for anyone, like I said, who drinks coffee or tea actually, or just any beverage in general, if they don't drink anything like that. Um, like I said, they can make like those, they can make a smoothie and put them in there, something like that. Um, and I love that. Next, uh, in the same also realm as coffee, they can get tea blends. Um, a nice tea kit would be so nice, I think, for a tea lover. Um, and then they also make like these like cool kits that you can buy of matcha. Um, I know a few brands that do it, like Goldie, um, I think it's Alfred's Coffee, um, which is based in California, but you can buy them online, I believe. And they have little matcha sets. This would be great for anyone who loves matcha. So moving on from coffee, we're gonna go to one of my favorite subjects is jewelry. Um, I love receiving jewelry. I love giving jewelry. So first we're gonna start with personalized jewelry, jewelry, which I actually mentioned to you guys in a vlog once. So these are from Sylvia X Jewelry, I believe. Um, they have a bunch of different options that you can get of like fonts and stuff. And it's a ring that you can put any name on it as whatever name you want, you can put on it. Um, like this one has my name and then I also have one that has Jared's name and then I also have necklaces from them that have um, my <laughs> my animals names, which I think is such, such a sweet idea. This one says Franklin on it. If you can see, it's like such a baller, like cool chain. Um, so it would be so nice for anyone who has pets, who has a, a boyfriend or a husband or a girlfriend um, or who has kids. I think it's such a sweet idea because you know, people love their loved ones and their loved animals and different things like that. So I just think it's such a sweet idea that I might be gifting to a few people this year because I know people who would love it. And also I bought my sister, my mom, and mother in laws girlfriend each like a, a ring that had their initial on it last year and they all wear it all the time. I always see them in it. And I think it's like such like a nice gift. That one I found on Amazon, which is like a cool ring like this, but then that you can go as far as finding something like this, which they also have on Etsy as well. So they have even more options there. Uh, I love supporting Etsy because there are just so many small businesses that are so good and gems that you can find on there. So like I said, I think that this is such a good idea for anyone like that. Even men, because I think I know Jared would love to get something like that of my name or of one of the of the dog's name or the cat's name. I think it's such a special special gift idea. So, 
And there also goes for just jewelry in general. Uh, okay, so really quick, I want to shout out also, these are my favorite earrings I've ever, ever worn. They're from Able Shop, um, which is a small business, and they are one of my favorite vintage shops and, and businesses anyway, but these are handmade earrings. They are such a nice, like, heavy but not too heavy and such a nice statement earring. Um, so if you are if you have someone who is funky in your life, like I know my mom would love these, someone who just loves earrings, big statements um, and just like fun colors, live over at um, Able Shop, make, hand makes these like I said, and she does such a beautiful job. I've had these for so long and the quality is like outstanding and feel like so good. So um, these I think are a really, really nice gift and also by a small business. Also for jewelry is a jewelry dish holder. So they make so many beautiful ones on Etsy and different companies like, um, or different small businesses. I'm going to be mentioning small businesses a lot because I think it's so important, especially this year to shop from small businesses. Um, and I know of a few really, really cute ones that I looked up before this on Etsy and they are so cute. They're little like polymer clay ones that are just nice and simple, but they make engraved ones. You can get them personalized with a little sweet message on it. Um, you can get like hammered, like rose gold ones. They're just so pretty. And I know for me, I have them sitting all over my house, like by the dishwasher or by like the sink. So I can pull off my jewelry really quick while I'm like scrubbing something or cleaning. And then I have one next to my bed. I have one in the bathroom for when I shower. I just have them everywhere. And I feel like, I feel like that's something that everyone can use who wears jewelry. Next would be books. So I personally think that books are such like a, um, a personalized gift that you wouldn't think were super personalized because you can go from any spectrum. You can find a nice book that you personally like that you can recommend. I kind of judge based off of who they are, what kind of books that they would like, or if you know that they love someone, that they have like someone that they really idolize or really like like uh, some like their favorite musician or their favorite like TV host or something like that, or even their favorite president, like like me this year, I would love to get a Dolly Parton book. I think that would be so cool. But then, uh, then like last year, we gifted my stepdad a um what's his name a Howard Stern book, and that's one of his favorite like. Thing, per, people to listen to and I think that he loved it he read through it like I watched him read it like the whole week after like one day I went over and he was reading it and I think it's so nice because they're opening it and they're like oh you know I love this person you know like and they they get have fun like reading about him so like I said they make books from everyone from Oprah um whether it's them writing it or someone else writing it about them different things like that I think it's so cool and also like they make Obama books books about the Beatles you can hone in on what that person likes and find a book about it um so for the reader, you can find a Kindle or some like kind of thing like that. I know not all readers like Kindles, but I think it is a nice gift or a nice gesture to buy like more of an expensive option if you're looking for someone who is really into reading. Um, a Kindle or a Kindle Fire or Amazon Fire, whatever they're called, I don't know. There are a bunch of different options out there for like digital readers, but um, I think that's a really sweet gift idea too. And more on uh, books, but this also is moving into the cooking person category. So whom they who like to cook, this is what this is for. Um, the cookbooks. So they have cookbooks from every option. If they are a vegan, they have a cookbook. If they are keto, they have a cookbook. If they are just a, like a normal eater, it, um, they have a cookbook. They have indulgent books, cookbooks like um, Chrissy Cra Tegan's Chrissy Teigen's Cravings. Um, they have celebrity cookbooks. A lot of celebrities come out with cookbook cookbooks. Um, they healthy cookbooks, non-healthy, you get the point. You know what I'm saying? Like you can find so many different kinds. A few of my favorites are the Half-Baked Harvest Cookbook and then one I really am looking for that I want is by Athena Calderon and it is called cook beautifully. So there are so many cookbooks for so many different things. And I think anyone who likes to cook would love a cookbook. Um, and then going in with that also, they make cookbook stands, which I didn't even know about. Or I guess I knew about them. But I didn't think about them until like the last few months. I was like, that's such a good idea because when you're cooking, it keeps it up and it keeps the page nice and open for you. They make handmade ones on Etsy. They make ones on Amazon. They make them everywhere, honestly. Um, and they make really pretty they make really pretty ones or really simple ones. So that's something that I know I'm going to get a few people this year. And um, I think that they're so useful, like tools that you can use like that. Next would be the always pan. So this has been the pan everywhere. Every gift guide that I've watched, everyone that I've seen talking about online for cooking gifts has talked about the always pan. So it's by our place. It's like, you've probably seen the ads for it, everything for it. Um, there are these beautiful, beautiful nonstick pans. I, they're supposed to be like the best pans ever. I've never tried it, never seen it in person, but this is on my like list of wants for that I want to buy myself. Um, but I did actually just look at it and it seems like a lot of them are out of stock right now until 
or not shipping until after the holidays. So if you do end up getting that for someone, you know, you can just print out a picture and they'll still be able to enjoy it within the month after. Um, but I think that's a really nice idea too. Or on that same realm, a nice cast iron skillet. <sighs> I think everyone can use a cast iron skillet. They make like really affordable ones, like $25. They make all the way up to hundreds of dollars ones. You, you know, you can find it in your um, budget for one that you would like to gift, obviously. But um, that I think is a really nice gift that people... Okay, so next are robes. <sighs> one of my favorite items ever are robes. Um, and this is one I'm going to show you right here is one that Jared bought me last Christmas from Anthropology. It's yeah, it's by Anthropology, um, and I just think this is the nicest gift <laughs> because it's been my most worn gift. I use this so often, especially right after I got it, um, and I'm getting back into it because it's getting colder here, but I think robes are so nice for anyone, even if they don't ask for a robe, even if they don't think they'd like a robe, when they get a robe and they try a robe, most people like robes. Um, I have transitioned so many people into robe wearers <laughs> by getting them robes. Like, this one is one also, like, Anthropology is a really great option if you want, like, a nice, high-quality, beautiful robe. Um, there are also ones from Skims. Skims makes really beautiful robes. We ordered a few already this year to gift to people, and I think that they... Skims just has really, really nice quality. Um, that is Kim Kardashian's brand, by the way. Um, they have really nice quality. They have a lot of different size options, too. They go up to, like, 4 to 5X and all the way down to, like, extra, extra extra small maybe extra extra small um and i just think that's really helpful as well when you're buying robes because robes are, are something like you can kind of guess the size on too for someone like it doesn't have to be exact like obviously like if you were to buy a pair of jeans or something for someone but um that's really nice i think and then also they make those cozies um like if you've seen them those like sweatshirt blanket things i got one of those last year for my uncle and <laughs> that thing I wear so you don't even need like a coat or pants on if you have that thing It keeps you like so warm our candles <sighs> Oh my god, okay, so this is like something I love always getting someone as like an add-in gift like I Think you can find candles for everyone. There are so many scents everywhere They like it also for a lot of these different things you can find them in any budget Like you can find a ten five dollar candle ten dollar candle at Target um, You can find personalized candles for different scents um, you can find like really really nice high-end candles at like Nordstrom and Saks Fifth Avenue and different things like that online and also a big thing you can buy handmade candles there are so many beautiful candle shops on Etsy there are so many small business ones like I actually also found a few beautiful candle companies that are black owned candles look so cute um, I'm going to be buying a few of these this one is 100% that girl by Rose and Co and it's like you took a DNA it says you took a DNA test and it said you were strong smart caring and fearless hashtag science and it's lavender sage and rosemary i think that is so cute um and then this other one is by la botica casablanca candle this one is more of like an expensive one but it's also black owned um and it's 65 dollars and the packaging is so beautiful any end of like the budget spectrum you can find something like that um i know dipty q is one that a lot of people buy that are that's really expensive um i bought jared one of those last year and he it smells so good he like savors it he like uses it for special occasions you know like when he wants to really chill out when he's working or something and um i think candles are such a nice idea it's kind of one that i wouldn't have thought of but I was thinking about it earlier. I was like doing, I was making the bed with Jared and I was like, oh, you know what? Sheets would be such a cute like idea to give someone. Not cute necessarily, but like such a like a nice gift to receive, I think. That's something that you don't really like to spend money on yourself. Like again, I've mentioned, I love giving gifts like that. And a nice pair of like linen sheets. You can find really nice pairs at um, Target. They have that one Casab Casa Luna brand I believe it's called that's what we have and they are such high quality like I said no one wants to spend that much money on sheets and so I think that's a really nice like luxe gift to give someone um, on the other hand they have brands like parachute they have different um, Etsy shops that you can find if you're looking for a small business um, and they're I just think that's such a cute idea like if you know the the size of their bed they're opening and they're like oh that's cute but they'll think of you like whenever they're putting them on they're like wait i actually love this gift um so i don't know i thought i'd mention it for you if, if you don't like that idea whatever so and next is getting into like the skincare and the body like kind of thing this can go for anyone men or women or um so this can go for any gender but like a nice body set like um like a lotion and body scrub and like a nice 
body wash, I couldn't think of the word, um, but they have so many different options out there for, like I said, all genders, and you can find them anywhere. Um, I think a few really nice brands that I would personally buy someone are necessary. I think they're their branding is so beautiful and then also on the other end they have like more affordable options which i actually have one right here of hemp's um it is still a little bit oh, it still is a little bit expensive but it smells so nice and this is like such a nice smelling thing they make like um christmas scents too and different things like that so i think that body lotion and like sets like that are so nice and then as well as that like perfumes and colognes i think are really really a sweet gift if you know someone's like vibe like i think i would know like my close family i would know what kind of scents they like or even like my mom she has like her signature scent i think buying someone their signature scent th so that they don't have to like buy it um i think that's a really nice idea too like my mom loves burberry brit so like i used to buy her that every year and she wouldn't have to buy it herself you know what i'm saying um and i think if you can do that or you can have them branch out and have them try a new one if they don't like it you can give a gift receipt and they can exchange it for their whatever one they do like but a lot of the time they probably will like it um um, like my brother for instance got my sister and I the Kim Kardashian um the KKW perfumes it was like with her Chloe and Courtney their like little set he got Jamie my sister and I a set and I use this every day look at it's almost out but this is and I still have two more left and I've used this like every day since last Christmas so I think that's a really nice idea too if like you know they like someone um like we love the Kardashians so he knew that we would like love this um they make so many celebrities make sense on different things like that um and so or you can look up what your celebrity's favorite scent is like if I wanted to buy my sister a Taylor Swift perfume and Taylor Swift doesn't have her own perfume I would like google like what she's known to, to wear and I'd get that and like write it on a little card and t give it to my sister and I know she'd love that so I think that's like kind of fun I just thought of that on the spot <laughs> but that's something like I would do I think it's a cute idea um and then and then also while we're in the beauty realm I think a nice lipstick this is for anyone who wears lipstick like my mom she is infamous for wearing red lipstick so I love getting her like really expensive red lipsticks like one year for her birthday, Jared got her Chanel red lipstick and she still talks about it to this day. I think it's such a sweet idea because like that's her thing is red lips. Um, so I think like so many people who wear lipsticks, they have like that one shade range that they go to, you know, gravitate towards. Like me, I, I'm also a red lipstick wearer, but like my Nana, let's say she has like a plum lip shade that she always wears um, and you can find one like that and they can, you get a, like a really nice brand or just any brand um, and they get to try a new one. So um, I think that's a sweet idea that I would love to give and receive. A few different things like hair oils, um, facial oils. I think that's so nice as well as like the um, little face rollers. I am going to get a few people those. I've gotten them like three years now for like random people. Um, I think that's such a nice idea because some people don't even know what they are and, they're, and then once they start using them, that's so nice. And as well as like the jade rollers for faces, they make ice rollers, which I think is such a nice idea um, because that's like a self care item that I feel like a lot of people don't know of or they won't buy for themselves and then they get it and they're like oh my god this is so nice like I can sit in the morning and roll my face out um and then like I said serums different things like that um like I said again hair oil they make some by way they make some by Jisoo I don't know how to say that Jisoo Jisoo um Gisu, I think it is Gisu, and they make really luxe hair oils different things like that because I think anyone I think anyone would like a hair oil so I think that's a nice gift and then also handmade soaps that's a, such a good option because they make such beautiful handmade soaps um that you can find online um I found a few really good ones that I think are so pretty and then also and then also just like a nice moisturizer is a nice idea always I think for anyone um, because moisturizer is like so luxe. It's like a nice luxe feeling thing to put on. And then also a face steamer is such a good idea for someone who loves skincare. If you know someone's really into skincare, a face steamer is a really nice idea. Um, I bought my sister one last year, the year before that, and she still uses it all the time. She's like really into skincare. And then also LED light masks. That's like a great option I think for people that's coming up right now. They make like more affordable, but that's like kind of mid range. I, th I think I the cheapest one I saw was like $75, um, but I think that's that's a really nice idea also for like someone who's into skincare or someone who's not because I think it's still like my mom's not into skincare per se but I think she would use it you know what I'm saying but, like kind of like a techie idea I think like a chart a wireless charger is a really nice idea like a wireless charging pad that they can set next to their bed and charge it um some for iPhones and um
Um, they also make some for Androids and like different things like that. Um, but I definitely know Apple does make one. And I think that's like a really nice gift for anyone um, who has a phone because whether they like think they would use it or not, it's really nice when you're like, I think I would I don't have one but I would think that it's a really nice and useful thing um also different household items that are smart homes um smart home items I guess I would say like LED smart lights that is a big thing that all our family loves to receive and loves to get because in our house if you watch my vlogs we have smart lights all over and you can literally talk to Google um which you can also get them to go with a smart light they make little like $25 I think or $20 Google um what are they called Google homes maybe um and they also on the other end of the spectrum they make bigger ones with big screens that you can get someone um i saw they're actually on sale at target right now for 50 dollars for like the google home screen like the smaller one but it's that's the one we have and it's like a nice size um and then uh, to go along with that you they make different ones for different company companies if you're not into google they make ring um and they make a few other ones i think but um i'm talking about google because that's what we have i and i know about they also make little like nest doorbells um and then they also make like chromecast that you can stream onto your tv i think that's really nice there's some that come with remotes um different things like that that are really fun to get and receive also laptop stands um this is a really nice idea too they make like so many different kinds they make some that are on the desk especially for right now when everyone's working from home you set it on your desk and it like elevates your laptop a little they have so many different kinds on etsy that are homemade like wood ones um or you can like find some that and then this is kind of into fashion and stuff i think this kind of goes with like the sleepers and pajamas and stuff i didn't think to mention this but like slippers are such a good idea i always think but and as well mittens mittens and like gloves and scarves are such a nice idea like if you find a nice company like i know everlane came out with really cute slippers uh scarves and mittens that i think are such a nice gift and it's a sustainable brand hi <laughs> okay popping in really quick because i don't know where i got this like notion that uh everlane is sustainable but i googled it and it basically says like it's not and but they're working towards getting there but either way um they are a very high quality brand with like decent prices for what their quality is in my opinion um so i just wanted to correct myself apparently they're not sustainable that is my bad i'm i keep i've been saying that for so long no one's corrected me so i'm so sorry um which i always appreciate and love and then also on the same everlane train while i'm sitting here i have my coat here that i ordered from them and i personally think that a nice winter jacket if you're somewhere where you live somewhere cold um i think a nice winter jacket is such a nice idea this one is really really nice um jared and i both got um matching but different colors jackets from everlane and this quality is insane and then also purses so i found so purses that are really beautiful quality like angela roy is one brand pauline which is like um a beautiful brand as well they're just like classic bags that you can get for anyone i think like they make classic simple ba like black bags um and then because that's something that's kind of personal like people have their like tastes as, per as far as purses go but i think like if you can kind of tailor it to them and think that they would like it i think that's such a nice idea because it's like something that'll last long and then also like merch from a band that they like or a celebrity um or a musician that they like or a podcast that they like different things like that is i think always a great idea um like i just saw well i shouldn't mention this in the candle portion but like casey musgraves let's say she has a candle that's called slow burn I think that's such a sweet gift idea um you can buy them shirts t-shirts hoodies vinyl um even if they don't have like a, a record player you can get a vinyl and then put it in a frame and that's like a cute little idea um and just anything like that i think like i said it's tailored to the person if you know that they like people like that or um you can find vintage shirts like uh vintage beetle shirts if they like the beatles vintage <laughs> jesse mccartney i was gonna say jesse mccartney i don't i guess he is vintage now i'm getting old um like a vintage jesse mccartney shirt let's say or dolly parton or shania twain that's where i find all of my vintage shirts are on etsy um or on poshmark so that is a great option i think for anyone because that's like such a fun cool thing to give and like to wear um and then for the active person so like the worker outer um like my sister let's say i always always get my sister workout clothes for like so many different things and she wears them to death which is why i always rebuy them because she loves them i know it's something that she'll use and she loves getting and that she doesn't like to buy for herself um so like brands like set active um girlfriend which girlfriend i know is size inclusive um they go up to like i think 3x or 4x maybe um and so we love that and then also um 
they make Lululemon if you want to buy like a really, really expensive kind of thing for the person. Um, and also Apple Watches or Fitbits, different things like that, I think are always a great idea if you know that they're into working out. Um, also like a membership to an app maybe or a gift card um, to like a gym that they go to, uh, whether it be virtual or online or something like that. Like Peloton um, has like a really wide range of like, um, has like a really wide range of workouts that you can do. And there are a bunch of different apps like that. So you can like offer to pay for that for them or something like that. And then also like workout bands, like um, weight sets, like uh, what are they called? Wrist weights and ankle weights. They have a really beautiful brand. Um, from Bala and I love those those are so cute um, and I think that's a great I like great gift idea for someone who works out um, and and also AirPods because that's also like a staple that's for anyone really like same with the Apple Watch you don't have to necessarily they don't have to be active to love those things um, but I think that's like uh, also great options for those like a nice water bottle is also always a great idea like a nice glass water bottle or something that'll keep their um, like an insulated water bottle that'll keep it really cold for really long um, like Yeti has really nice ones by the way they are our favorite ones at our house because they keep them cold for like two days if I don't drink the water, let's say, or overnight at least. Um, I may, I might be stretching it, but definitely overnight I still have, I have ice cubes in it. So I love that about that. So also homewares. So I love the idea of gifting people vintage homewares. So I think that you can find so many different cool items like that, vintage vessels and uh, plant pots. Um, there are so many vintage shops online right now on Poshmark, on Etsy, on Depop, um, or just like a local store. Like I know in Michigan, there's one called Rail and Anchor that I we love. We've loved for so many years, like almost 10 years now. It's been our favorite store to go and buy gifts for because it's really personal. It's a small business, first of all, and it's personalized to like Michigan. They have a lot of Michigan items um, that aren't like tacky and like ugly. You know what I'm saying? Like they have cute ones. And then they also have like completely opposite. They have like cool items that you will never find anywhere that they source. I'm not sure where they source it, obviously, but they find them and they're so cool. Um, and I think that's a great idea as well. I'm going to link them down below too. If you are from Michigan and want to support a local business, that's a great option. Rail and Anchor. Um, they have a storefront in Royal Oak. Okay. Sorry. My vet called me, but anyway, um, what was I talking about? Oh, different vintage homewares, I think. Um, and I think that that, oh, Rail and Anchor is a great place for that. They have like cute, ha uh, candle holder stands, but also, um, if you just want to go on Etsy or different, like actual vintage shops on Etsy, um, you can find really cool vintage, like I said, candle holders, pots and plant pots. Um, different like little knickknacks if someone's really into collecting a certain thing I think that's a cute idea um, and then with, like vintage blankets I think that's a really pretty idea like a really nice like vintage wool blanket that's always cute um, and then lastly for like home and just in general is like a nice wooden like a bamboo bath mat I think that's like really serene and really beautiful um, and I think that that's a great idea for anyone I have that on some on my list that I want to buy myself this year is like a cool like a bath mat like that. I didn't even know they existed, but I guess it's like really nice and luxe. So okay, I thought that was something worth mentioning just because it was on my list. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry, I'm trying to like, I tried to make sure I didn't talk too fast. Hopefully I got everything in. So like I said, keep an eye out for my his gift guide, gift guide for him um, kind of thing. It should be coming up soon, uh, but I wanted to get this one out first. I think this one is more broad spectrum. Like I said, hopefully it is. Let me know what you think down below if you th thought think anything is like a good idea or not um i'd love to hear it and also follow me on instagram if you aren't already and make sure you're subscribed down below if you haven't yet if you enjoyed this video um also throw a thumbs up down below i don't say that often but feel free to give me a thumbs up um but i'll talk to you guys later and uh yeah hope you have a great day happy holidays and have a great thanksgiving bye